And can you talk about, you said being a pro, but I also think, as you know, being in this New York media, being in New York, being a pro in New York and being a pro in another market is two different things. Mm -hmm. So what are some things that you had to learn about being in this market, you know, saying the right things, constructing yourself the right way? Like, how did you learn to do that? Yeah, man. I mean, when I first came in, yeah, it is different. And, Mm -hmm. And when I first came in, like the media department set me down, the media department set me down. Yeah. And they were like, man, this is like no other place. This media they'll get at you. Yeah. So they nitpick you, everything. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta really watch what you say. And it made me nervous at first. Uh but to be honest, man, I just treated it like everything else. I'm not somebody that's gonna be saying anything too crazy, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Or or doing anything to put me in a position to have to clean up something, you know what I mean? Absolutely. Uh, not too often. I mean, I did, <laughs> right. I did have a, an instance or two, but uh, I, I rarely put myself in that position to have to do that. And that, like, that's what being a pro is. Mm-hmm. And so, like I said, watching those guys, that kind of helped me mm-hmm. um, navigate that aspect of it. But I mean, it's the media capital of the world, dog. Yeah. Like, if you want to get a message out, positive or negative, you could do that. And this, this is the place to do it. Mm-hmm. No, you definitely carry yourself like a pro for sure. Um, you know, Factors Ready to Eat meals are chef crafted and dietitian approved with over 35 meals a week. So they have keto, they have vegan, they have calorie smart. There's no excuse. Really, every single thing you need comes with Factor. Factor makes your meals quick, healthy, and super cost effective. So, I mean, it's never been more easy to stay on top of your diet and stay on top of your goals. There's no more cooking. There's no more cleaning. There's no more shopping. All that stuff is out the window. Now, y'all know I'm a smooth talker, so I had to go get y'all 50% off. Go to factormeals.com slash win50 and use code win50 to get 50% off. Again, that's code win50 at factormeals.com slash win50 and get 50% off. Courtesy of Second Win. Enjoy the show. Last season didn't go the way that you wanted, Mm -hmm. but you also got to see, you know, an undrafted kid, you know, coming at quarterback and kind of do, you know, a kind of Lynn Sanity run. You know what I mean? He was balling, won three games in a row. Like, you know, City was on fire. I go to the Green Bay game. Everyone's throwing up this. You know, like, can you talk about, you know, being around Tommy and, you know, that span and how that affected you guys in the locker room and the guys? Yeah, bro, it's crazy. But, like, Tommy's like a quiet dude. Right. And, and you don't really see that, but Tommy is a quiet dude. So when he first came in, I'm like, man, who is this kid? But his dad worked on my house. He did the plumbing in my house. Oh, really? So That's his, my world. Yeah, his pops did the Damn. plumbing in my house. And I remember him saying, you know, my son, he plays Syracuse or whatever. And, uh... I was like, oh man, that's what's up. That's dope. Right, right, right. And then lo and behold, he's on my on the team with me. Yeah. Uh, but like I said, he didn't say that much. And so I'm like, man, can this kid really ball? And right. he only got limited reps at practice. So you mm-hmm. really didn't get to see him spin. But preseason rolled around and you just saw how calm and cool and collected he was. Yeah. Poised. And like, bro, yeah. this dude got confidence. Like confidence <laughs> through the roof. <laughs> through the roof. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And whenever you got a guy like that in the huddle, I don't even care, bro. That gives everybody else confidence. Mm-hmm. And so when when DJ went down and Ty went down, yeah, we knew Tommy was up, but it was like watching spin. Fuck right, yeah. right, like right. he he told he told me, watch out, I'm about to go crazy. Christ, I'm like, I hard. love, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, that's hard, <laughs> that's bro. You, hard. That's what you want to hear. So yeah. he did it. And he even for it. him, that's like, it's not a knock to him. In a, in a situation like him, bro, you got everything to win. Yeah. You got, fuck it. You got yeah. nothing to lose, bro. Nah, I mean, yeah, everybody's looking at you like, ah, uh, third string quarterback, yeah. we in a bad position, whatever. Nah. He went at that spinning and got it. his three dubs. Yeah, absolutely. And, and dubs, I don't care how you do it. Dubs are hard to come by in the league. Absolutely. Like, so. Yeah, he did especially his thing. when you ain't seen no defense before, like you just yeah. out there, Bruh. shit. 